to try to discuss how I get paparazzi to pay for my um, convention vacation. So, <clears throat> like I've told many of you guys before, to get paparazzi to pay for one of your vacations or your bills or whatever, you figure out the total that your vacation will cost or your bill per month or whatever. Divide it by $2.25 because that's our profit margin on the paparazzi pieces. And then that's how much you have to sell to get there. But then don't just leave it there. Break it all the way down to how much you have to sell per week. Figure out how many weeks it is till vacation, that kind of stuff. So I've done the same thing similar for um, convention. Typically, I try to save $1,000 to go on convention. I typically get the trip for around $700, so I have extra money to kind of float here and there. But I broke it down for you guys as in we start July 1st to save for convention for next year. So during the month of June, we're going to figure out really what everybody's goals are per month to what bill you want paparazzi to pay for you and then how to add in the extra pieces for convention and put it in a separate savings. So I challenge everybody before July 1st to open a new savings account or if you have an existing one that you don't really use, I want you to start with $5 in it, $5, okay? If you start this thing, I want you to put like a picture on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, whatever kind of social media you use with you outside of the bank and say, I'm starting my trip for convention, or put some kind of little business talker kind of post or something. I can help you come up with something if you need some help. But I want to challenge everybody to start that with $5. And then each week, I've broken it down. So if you put in a certain dollar amount every single week, you will have enough to buy the pink ticket or early bird special paparazzi price for your ticket. And you will have enough money for food. You will have enough. If, if you can get your trip down to $700 like I typically do, you'll even have enough for 100 pieces of new convention jewelry to bring back with you. As well as possibly a couple um, Z Collection pieces. So here's my little cheat sheet. And I will upload this for you all to see. I don't know if you can get a good look at it. Um, I'm not very good with this Facebook Live stuff yet. Okay, so... I will upload these into the documents later, or if anybody would like one, you can email me. I will keep it, um, I will keep an email in the comment section. But the way I break it down is I have over-exaggerated the cost of things for convention. So it makes it more reasonable so that you have every dime that you will need for the trip. So if you buy a convention ticket at the very last moment, it's $205. I estimated the hotel for $100 a day times four days, and it's a double occupancy. I've budgeted $200 for a hotel. And food, I do $50 a day because I don't know if they keep it in Las Vegas. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but there is a steak and shake. Excuse me. There's a steak and shake in our hotel, and there's tons of meals you can get there for under $5. So... If you don't spend the $50 a day, that's where I get my Z collection piece, the money, and how I kind of piece other things together or do extra excursions because it's like a, a day pass for the bus is $8.25. Um, if you want to get a cold soda somewhere or you want to gamble a little bit, because another little tip with Vegas, as long as you have money in the little poker machines, they'll give you anything you want to drink for free. So alcoholic beverages, non-alcoholic beverages, you don't have to pay for anything you drink as long as there's money inside the machine. And it doesn't matter how much the value is. It's not like it has to be a minimum of 10 or whatever. <clears throat> so I estimated the cost to be $1,005. So if we start July 1st, which is paparazzi's new fiscal year is July 1st, from July 1st to July 30th of the next year, you will have to put $19.33 every single week to get that thousand and five dollars well that doesn't break down per piece for me so I um, rounded it up to twenty dollars and twenty five cents which is nine pieces of paparazzi 
So if you, above what your regular budget is, what your goal is to have paparazzi pay for you, whether it be your cell phone bill, if you're just getting started out, if, you want, if you've been in it for a while and you want paparazzi to pay your car payment for you or your car insurance for you or something that's a little bit bigger, now to step up your game, now I'm challenging everybody to sell an extra nine pieces. But you take that $20.25 and not put it in your regular paparazzi business or cut yourself a commission check. However, you pay yourself, or if you do, I don't know how you guys all break down your business, but you take that $20.25 and you put it into a separate savings account. <clears throat> when it's time, you know, it, you will have all the money you will need for vacation. So I've made this other little breakdown by week, which week it is, how many weeks till vacation. And if you see, I put reminders on the side, like there it is. Um, you you want to wire the money around November 1st uh, for the pink ticket, which is, or, or early bird special, which is $165. So you'll want to, around November 1st, take that out of your savings account and put it in whichever one that you have a debit card or credit card or something like that that you can purchase it or go ahead and do it and then reimburse yourself for paying for the ticket out of your savings account. And then I put the reminder to book the hotel, you know, that kind of stuff. So if you see there, $1,058 is what you'll end up with. So like I said, if you purchase... Um, if you pre-purchase gift cards to Steak and Shake, take that money out of the savings account if you're planning on eating there. You know, just so you have you carry less cash with you or have less money on a on a card. Um, but that's what I'm doing. So that's an easy way above what you're already doing to get to convention. So like I broke it down, nine pieces a week. And um, I also, sorry, in my budget for the extra money, it, I budget $400 for travel. This year for convention, um, I couldn't get a good deal on airfare, so we're driving. Um, there's four of us girls that are going to be driving together to keep my travel costs under $400. I don't, um, the cheapest I could get an airline ticket was um, $550. So um, just ways that you can kind of, communicate I'm I will I can upload these into files or you can email me again it's Kelly K-E-L-L-Y Margaret M-A-R-G-A-R-E-T Salon S-A-L-O-N at gmail.com so if you email me and ask for these documents I can go ahead and send them to you um but um you can print them out but like I said, there's my little cheat sheet on what my expense breakdown is. And then I have this, um, if you start, ooh, sorry, if you start with $5 in your account and put $20 and 25 cents in each week, I've broke down how much money would be there. Um, and on November 1st, there's enough for that early bird pink ticket. Um, I just think that, um, if you guys can get to convention, you'll really love it. You will. And usually we also do um, Empower Me Pink. <clears throat> so again, if you cut down some of your expenses, Empower Me Pink money will even be in there. Or, you know, we can um, do something where you purchase a few more. You, not purchase, you sell a few more extra pieces right before Empower Me Pink. And then that will pay for your pink ticket, um, your Empower Me Pink ticket. But that's all I really wanted to go over tonight. I was really excited. You know, we've broken this down. So how easy it can be to go to convention. And then I just saw the, the sneak peek release that we are going to be knowing on Friday how to do the passport vacation. So um, as soon as that happens, and I know how much that's going to cost, I'll do a new breakdown. So then you'll see, you can see like to make your goal to get your bill paid, you have to sell this many pieces. And then for convention, it's nine pieces. And then how much to get passport vacation paid for you. So we'll go over that. And then I will go over some more of this in detail at the next monthly meeting. Again, I meet the second Tuesday of every month in Bloomington. So if you if you come, we'll go over this more in detail and what plans I have mapped out for us and how we can all get to convention by simply working our business. So I will let everybody know 
um, my calculations for the passport vacation Friday, probably next Tuesday. I'll cover that then. We'll talk about passport vacation and we'll talk again about convention if anybody has any questions. But um, yes, I most definitely I will talk to you guys next Tuesday. You guys have a great day. Thank you.